What's going on, everybody? Oh, what sun's bright. Um, all right, so I'm in the salon. I'm taking it to have the uh, transmission fluid changed. I spoke about this in another video. Um, they recommend it like every 60,000 miles. I'm at 60,585. Uh, seems to be a good car, so I'm gonna try to keep up the maintenance. I pretty much do that in any car, no matter, you know, whether it's a good car and a bad car, I try to make it way better car than when I got it. So uh, we're gonna do the, the schedule maintenance on it right now. But I am heading to the Toyota dealership. After this video, I'll let you know what it cost. I'm not exactly sure what all, I think it was like $269. And you're gonna say, that's crazy, do it yourself. And I would have, if it would have been just draining the fluid and replacing the fluid, I asked them about that. And no, they actually dropped the pan and replaced the filter. So, um, that's why I'm letting them do that because they're just, they do the whole thing. And I, I'm, I could have done that, but it, it's a lot easier to have a lift. And basically I, there's things I just don't want to do. So that was one of those things I just didn't want to do. So I'm going to let them do it, but I'm still curious if they have like a, uh, a 2022 Tundra yet. Cause I've yet to actually seen one I can walk up to. I, I just, <laughs> They're like unicorns right now. Not that I want one. I don't want a unicorn either, unless I could sell it. But um, I've yet to see either one of them. So when we get up here, well, I'm sure I'll probably do a walk around of the lot and just see what's on it. But I'll be curious to see if there is a 22. I drove by here the other day for work, uh, going to Bristol, and they had one but it was on the side of the building, which leads me to think that maybe it was sold because a lot of stuff is sold and stuff like that. They put on the side and it was on the side. It wasn't out. Um, I, I couldn't really see in the showroom. I didn't drive through the lot or nothing. I just looked over and just happened to see it sitting over there. So they did actually have a black one the other day. Don't know what trim it was. Again, didn't drive by, but um, maybe they'll still have that one. Maybe they were just checking it in. I don't know, but I would assume that one um, was sold. But we're on our way now. Um, I'll get this checked in and everything. I'm gonna try to get a spare key made because I don't have a spare key either. So I'm gonna try to get that made. And uh, then pick up a couple, like a bottle of like transmission fluid and like a, a jug of um, antifreeze. Uh, Cause I probably will take this little car on trips. It's good on gas. I'm getting like 25.5 miles a gallon in this tank and that's driving to work all week. And I get my worst gas mileage driving to work. So if I'm getting, you know, over 25 miles a gallon while driving to work, that's pretty impressive actually, because my truck gets nine to 10 miles a gallon driving to work. So way, way better than that. I'm almost here though. Let me jump off here. Um, I'll get this checked in and while we're waiting on it, we'll see what they got on their lot. I'm not expecting much, but it's early on a Saturday and uh, maybe we caught it before everybody got up here to buy everything off the lot. See you guys in just a minute. Okay, I want to show you this. Look what's right in front of me right there. What we're pulling up in front of, it is a 22 Tundra right there. So we will be looking at that and talking about that. First looks at the 2022 Tundra. Um, you know, first uh, looks for me for the 2022 Tundra. But let me get checked in here. We'll go over and check that out. All right, guys. So coming around to the new Tundra that I've yet to be able to find until today. I mean, I've seen them on the road, but I haven't seen them in person. So uh, let me click the camera around. We'll make this the thumbnail. Okay. So I talked to the lady inside and she said somebody must have backed out on this truck because uh, I guess they thought it was sold. I don't know. It's a platinum. Uh, I don't know how many people have seen a platinum yet, but it is the platinum. <sighs> you know, in person, it's still got this huge front end. I still think it looks like a catfish. I, I do like where they put the fog lights. Looking at it, I, I do like where they put the fog lights. The headlights are okay. That's just a huge, huge front end. <clears throat> to me, to me, that's a huge front end. Oh my goodness. I still think it looks like a Chevy. Y'all are gonna tear me up in this. I still think it kinda looks like a Chevy truck to me. It's, it's not as bad in person as it looked on videos. The interior, it's not open. <laughs> so we're going to look at it through this. I know y'all want me to test drive this, but I just don't even know if I want to test drive it. It does have a little kick out plate. I'll tell you something I don't like. Look at this, you're buying a platinum 
and you're just getting stainless steel tips. You don't even get like a chrome tip or a black tip or, or anything like that. You got your composite bed. Still not sure how I feel about that in a full size truck. At least they did put lights in it and a power port. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's your power port. Lights on the other side. They did put Tundra up here. I do like how they did that. Small touches like that are pretty cool. And you have a repetitive Tundra here with your backup camera. And I would assume that this, here's the button. I hadn't seen that button yet, but there's, there's like a little rubber button right here. I wasn't sure how they did that since this was the first one I've seen. Haven't had a chance to really look at it. Of course, you got your backup sensors and everything. This actually has a tag on it, so this must be someone's truck. So it is probably actually sold. Um, so I probably got lucky I actually seen it because it's tagged. But it is a Platinum. It's kind of crazy over here to see a Platinum. You can probably see inside better on this side. Um, I like how the console is laid out. Um, I do actually like that probably better than the way the console is laid out. Mine's got a huge screen on it. It's it's nice interior. The interior is nicer than the current gen, definitely. The interior is where it's at. Uh, this one does have the panoramic roof. You just can't see it. There's actually screens over there on that side, and I'm sure it's on this side too. You can kind of see it in here where they're actually pulled up to keep the sun out of the back. It's like a baby screen or something. That's kind of cool too, I guess. Um, overall, it's not bad. There's no window sticker in it since it is sold, but um, it's it's not as bad in person as what I think it is in pictures. I still would not trade my um, 16 Platinum for this Platinum and, and give the money they would want the difference. I don't even know if I would do it, you know, straight up just because I prefer the V8, even though gas mileage has killed me now and I bought another vehicle. I still think I prefer the tried and true V8 over the um, V6 twin turbo. And the, but the Platinum, I can't remember if they have the hybrid motor in them or not. That is so deep back in there. Hey, check this out. They've got louvers in there. See these little louvers right here? You can see them. And I bet you anything, that's kind of like what Ford did. Um, on my first F-150, the intercoolers on the Fords would condensate and that caused your motor or engine to go into limp mode when you dropped out the passive bike. When it geared down, it would suck that condensation up into the engine and it would cause it to go into limp mode, which is what got me almost killed one time and why I traded my um, F-150. Well, Ford put these little louvers in here that you can see like right there and they would close to heat up that intercooler so it didn't, so it stopped that condensation. And it looks to me like Toyota has done the exact same thing. I could be wrong, but that sure does look like louvers in there to me to shut that off. That's, that's what it looks like to me. And if I was a bet man, I would bet that that is what um, it is. Well, like I said, white wouldn't be the color I would pick, but it's not a bad truck. It's, it's really not a bad looking truck. Um, I really think that if you get this part hit right here, if this gets damaged in a crash, that is going to be a pain in the butt to fix and get looking perfect. Because that little swoop right here has got to be perfectly molded. Because if you have to replace this fender, that fender is going to have that same line. And then that little swoop right there is going to be crazy to try to match up if it gets dimmed in very bad at all. The way they put the platinum down here, I do like that. That's better than the big old platinum emblem like on mine. But um, I do like how they put the platinum smaller at the bottom. Uh, I do want to say one thing though. Stepping back looking at this truck in its current configuration, I still think it would look better lifted, but I think that the 22s look better stock than the previous gen looked stock. Like this truck, it, I could deal with it not being lifted. I would still lift it but I could deal with it not being lifted better than I could a current gen. And of course it has your electronic running boards underneath. 
And like I said, I had your step. I still don't know why they didn't put an exhaust tip on it. On a Platinum, they didn't put an exhaust tip on it. That just, that just blows my mind that they didn't do that. And again, this window is partially so dark because I think you can kind of see it perforation right there where that little screen is up. Huge, huge screen in there. The seats look really comfortable. Like I said, the truck's sold. I can't look in it, but um, seats look comfortable. One thing I'm glad they did carry over, if you can see on the steering wheel, um, there is a flat spot at the bottom. I do like holding my steering wheel right there when I'm on long trips. So, uh, you know, that will still be comfortable for me. Uh, this one does not come down into the door. So the back end, well, like I think, I swear I think that front end, when they get hit right there, there's gonna be some people that's not happy with the way that right there gets fixed from the body shop. That's just me. Again, not sure how I feel about the composite bed uh, on a full-size truck, but hey, it'll probably work and I'm probably just being paranoid. But here it is, guys, here it is. My first look, can't get in it. Like I said, sold to somebody else. But at least I got to get up close and see it because this is the first one I've ever been close to that I can actually look at. Okay, so like I said, it's not as bad in person as it was in pictures. It's growing on me a little bit, but I'm still not getting rid of my truck for one of these. Definitely not for the price difference. My truck only has 46,000 miles on it. I still prefer the V8 even with the crappy gas mileage, but um, it's, it's not as bad in person. And like I said, if you don't raise the previous gen and they're both stock, I actually think this one looks a little better stock to stock as far as the ride height because I actually think the Silverados look better if you don't raise a Tundra. I think the Tundras look way better if they're lifted. But if they're stock, I've always said this, if they're stock, I don't really like them. And stock to stock, I think the 22 actually looks better. Now lifted, I think I like my 16 better, but if I couldn't have lifted it, this one actually looks a little better. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, sorry I couldn't get inside it. No, my truck sold, uh, it is what it is. I can't test drive somebody else's truck, but um, at least we got to see one. Let me know what you think. Are these growing on you? They might be growing on me a little bit, but still not enough to trade mine in for one. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.